Hi guys, John Doherty here, and welcome to this quick tutorial book here. Since last week, I learned something new from All Right, uh, I should say two weeks ago, and I've implemented that into my other trading strategy, which is the head and shoulders and levels. And I've seen a massive explosion in my pip count uh, implementing that with the in conjunction work strategy. Now I've been getting inundated with messages uh, with regards to this 25 for life fibs. How do you set it? What's the parameters? What do you do? So this quick tutorial, okay guys, is going to be what you need to look at from the standpoint of what Oren uh, has taught uh, his students, uh, me included. So I'm just gonna share my screen you just bear with me and uh, we'll just minimize this. Now, this is the, the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, I'm going to do this in bite sizes, is, is put it in, in as easy and as in layman's terms as possible, okay? Uh, just like Oren does. So, what we're going to do is when you open up your charts, again, I like to work on naked charts. Uh, it's always best to get rid of all distractions, okay? So the first point that you want to do, and again, I'm going to make this as easy as possible, you need to identify where you are on the chart, okay? You don't need to mark this up, but I'm just doing it just to show you. So we are here. This is where we currently are on the chart, okay? So from there, you need to sort of look to the left. This is your past history, okay? So you need to look this way and either up or you need to look down, okay? Because you need to look for a high or a low point from where you particularly are, okay, guys? So in this instance, we've got some, some uh, consolidation on the top of here. So then I would look to the left, there's some consolidation, I would look down. So this immediately here, this here, it's sort of screaming out to me, okay? So when you are working with these 25 for life fibs, you need to have, and I'm gonna draw this just now, you need to go on this arrow on here, and I'm just gonna put that there. This is already set up for me, okay? So you do your fibs, and the settings you need are as follows. Make this plain, make it simple, make it visual, okay? Keep everything plain, simple, visual. So make everything black, Okay, depending on your charts, if you have a black background, you might want to make this yellow. Okay, from there you have your first one is a zero, tick, with the color. The next area, 0 0.25, tick, with your color. Leave the middle zone out. This is my own spin. You don't really need that middle zone. It just creates an extra line where you don't really use, okay? From there you have 0 0.75, tick, color and then the full unit tick color. Now the differences between these, there is no difference. They are in essence 0 0.25 and a 0 0.25. You've just got an upper and you have a lower, okay? So from there, we've got that set. What you need to do now is you can go to templates, okay? So you click on this, you're going to save this, and as you've got that set up like this, guys, go to templates, Save as, I've got this set up as 25 for life. So I know when I'm doing my fibs, I can get my fibs straight for that parameter. Okay, guys, that's that part done. From there, as I see, we are looking at this area. So you would always draw your fibs as you're going from a swing lower to a higher point. Your candles has always got to be two candles higher to the previous. Okay, and again, I like to be very visual, so I want to make this as easy as possible, guys. I know a lot of you will understand this. So that's your swing low, okay? And you've got a wick, okay? And then you've got your next candle, is here. And then you have your next candle, let's see it here. Well, let's see, this candle has a wick, because you'll need to understand this bit. This candle has a wick. Okay, we'll put that wick there. And then you need two candles to the left as well. Okay, we've got candle here. And then we've possibly got another candle here. 
So you're trapping five candles within a box, okay? Now to draw these fibs, what you need to do, you need to go from the wick of the lowest point, and then you're going two candles, so one, two. Ignore the wick, it has to be to the close of the body, okay? So it has to be that to that aspect, okay? So from there, you then need to do horizontal rear, and you can do, this is what I do, I have the lower part set as red, and then I have the upper part set as green. Again, I haven't got this on the money, but it's for illustration purposes. I'll set these ones to green, so I can identify the potential buy areas, the potential sell areas, okay? Now, what you are waiting for, okay, guys, and this bit is very, very, very important, so take notes with anything I do with this. Let's see the market's moving up and down. What you are waiting for is another candle, okay, guys? You may have a new candle come up, and it's within, we've got here 27 minutes at the moment. So let's pretend this is the current move, okay? You've got this on the 27 minute, and it's doing this. You do not enter at all. Do not enter until this candle is closed, because it might be all the way up here, okay? And you think, oh, I can get on a buy limit. And then all of a sudden, it will come all the way down here to where that zone is, but then what will happen is because that's been making its move up and down, you then got a long tailed wick right the way up here. And that isn't a confirmation, okay? That is not a confirmation. What you are waiting for is for that to close above that. Obviously where that closes, your new candle will start. And then this will be doing this. You need to then, when you get the new candle starting, okay, let's get this moved over. When you have this new candle starting, you would then enter your buy limit, okay? Simply because this here is giving you confirmation. Once you do that buy limit, as soon as this candle moves down, touches that area like that, bang, whenever you've set that as a buy limit, you are then ended into the trade, thus going in this direction, hopefully. However, your stop loss, what you would generally do with your stop loss, okay guys, is if you were going for a long on this, long positions are always buys, you add this set, you would generally have your stop loss set to that sort of area of the next part. Because if this was to break, obviously you would then be getting in for a sell. My general pippage, what I've been going for on these, are around about 300 so ticks wise that's 300 again your stop loss is going to sort of vary between that i have been testing my stop losses at the moment i have been going as low as 25 pip stop loss even if that does not come down to here so on a 25 pip stop loss on here you can see it's not it's not quite touching that area but again guys this is very powerful but well, let's get back to this current chart okay so hopefully you're understanding this at the moment and you're taking notes. So let's recap. Identify where you are in the market. Even if you need to do this, it's very, very good to be visual. We are here. You need then to, to then, let's just get this on here. You need then to look left. Okay, you need to look left. And then you need to either look up or down to, to identify the trend. To identify the trend, right? So then that's up bit there, okay? So you look, you're looking where the market is, Right, we've got that, that's number one. Then you look left, then you're going to identify which area the market's been moving. You're identifying the trend, okay, guys? So this is here. I've got a lower low on here before we went into any consolidation, okay, guys? So let's make a chart on this aspect, okay? So what you've got on your fibs, you go from the wick, and then You've got, let's get this right, John, get it right. Yes, it's from that one. 
Come from your wick. Okay, guys, and you're going two candles up. One, two. Not to the wick, you're doing it to the body. Okay, so we're around about there. From there, if you just bear with me, I need to get rid of some of this. We'll get rid of some of this noise. Again, guys, this strategy is very, very powerful. Very powerful. So we're just going to eliminate some of the noise and you're not getting distracted. Right, so what you've got there, you then go to the top of here, go to your horizontal rear, identify your green for the buy, and then you want red. Okay, you want red. Of the cell. Now we've got that set up, we can now go back and see where we are at this current time. This is where we are. Now look at how powerful this is, guys. Look at how powerful it is. We've identified the low to the two candles up on the high. We had we've had a break. Okay, so again, we are waiting for a break of candle. Again, I'm very, very visual in my charts. You've had the confirmation break. So that confirms you've had the break. You would then require a retest into there. You've had step number one done. You've had the break of candle confirmation. You're now waiting for the touch back down to here for then you to enter this as a buy, okay? And look where we got. We got it right here, guys. We got it right here. You had around about six pips of drawdown. We go for around about 30 pips. So this is where we would have been entered. 30 pips is around about that area there. Let's just take a look. Your 30 pips. Entered there. So you would have entered around about here because of the touch. Let's make that black. You would have entered on there. Yes, you've had to wait for a bit, but you've had little to no, no drawdown. Look at that. You've had about six pips of drawdown there. Okay, guys? Six pips of drawdown there. And then it went into profit, and then you had around about three pips there. It's never once come any further down, and then you would have gotten out at around about... Let's, let's, go, let's do this long area. Again, I want to be as visual as I can, to be fair, 300. And let's see, I would normally do around 25 pip. So again, 25 pips has been generous. Look at that, uh, 30 pips. Yes, it would have took a little bit. Look, in fact, it's not, it's from that lower one, wasn't it? It was from that lower one. There we are, guys. So that's where, in fact, this is where you would have, that's where you would have gotten your profit, okay? But again, guys, look at this. Very powerful. We've had a touch, touch, touch. We are now coming back down. We've nearly, very nearly, we very nearly have had a touch there, okay? It's not a confirmation. You have to have the touch. Two pips away from touching that line again. This strategy is so powerful, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of unshare my screen. Again, that is the general concept, okay, of the 25 for life fibs. Watch back this video if you need to, and it'll be the same as if you are going from a, low, a high to a lower point. This general concept works the same. I hope I've sort of given a good instruction on how this works, how to set it up, what you need to look for. Uh, again, guys, if you like what I'm putting out there with regard to the content, this is a big, big shout out to Oren Wright. He's the person who's put this in front of not just me, but many, many other students. And it's very, very powerful. And I'm sure in due course, as we go on, uh, I've just been chatting to Paul. He's sort of implementing this with the harmonics as well, guys. Okay. So I hope you found this video uh, educational and informational. Please drop the likes, the comments, the feedback, and more importantly, show me the love with the hashtag for Expire, guys. 
I'll see you all later. Happy trading.